Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Folk Manus Full Body Llama. All right, so here she is. Here's my Full Body Llama. I call her Lady Lillian Llama. She has all the trimmings. She has these little doodads that go with her harness. She looks like she just came out of Peru. Looks very, very nice. Uh, by the way, she had some additional hair coming all the way up here, but I cut that off just so you can kind of see her a little better. Because with that wispy hair that was up here, I didn't quite like it. So, sorry, <laughs> I got rid of that part so you could, uh, you could see her better. There. I think that really improved her look, getting rid of some of that extra stuff. Alright, so similar to the Folk Manus full-bodied alpaca, the llama, also you only can control the neck and the head and the mouth. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. She's very pretty. She looks like she's getting ready to help you sell things. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> All right, so about this girl. She has a very wispy type of fluff here. It's soft, but wispy. She has some different white texture here, not as soft, but it's, it's all right. The fur on her face, her head, it's okay too, but kind of basic. Um, on top of her head, it's a little bit more fluffier here. Yes. And the hooves. The hooves on her are a little more of a rubbery-like texture compared to Senor Alpaca's more cloth. Yes. She also has a little tail. It's kind of a flap. <laughs> kind of hides there because it all looks the same color. Pretty big. I don't know. Can I uh, try to stretch her out too so you can see her fully? There we go. Pretty big, I must admit. For her, I must say that when you, if you're an adult and you're trying to operate her, putting your hand inside this one is going to be one of the toughest you are going to find. Because I believe they were really trying to make this for a kid. Believe me, I'm someone who kind of has small hands. My hands are pretty small, considering. And when I try to operate her, it hurts. It really hurts uh, my hand. So what I normally do is, because I can't really go up here to operate her, what I usually do is I leave my hand here and put a finger, like a finger in her mouth to make her, her mouth move. Yeah, so just wanted to give a heads up. If Even though I really, I wanted yeah, a llama so bad that's why I bought her but just a word of advice and a word of warning if you get one like I have it's going to be very very hard on your hand to operate uh, one of these types of folk manis llamas I think they were meant more for kids in this case I know they usually try to make them for kids and adults which is good most of them Yes, you can do that. But with this one, it's very it's very tight. Like like I said, I go here, it's very, very cramped. It's very, very cramped to, to put my hand inside her neck. So all I can really do is go like that. I can't get my hand really in here anywhere. It's very uncomfortable. But yeah, there you go. Except for that, you can give it a try. If you find one of these, then good luck. They're kind of rare. 
Thank you all so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.